Hey, this is Dave from HouseBarons.com. Together with my brother Rich and son Caleb, we show you how to do a job yourself so you can save a lot of money in the process. Today, we're going to take on installing a range hood over this uh, stove. Uh, this is a new house, never had a range hood in it. Uh, this one will be a self-circulating. It's uh, not going to be vented outside. Should be a pretty simple task. So let's get started. This is the range hood that we're using. It's a Braun Glacier Captor. And there's the model number if you're interested. Uh, we're Amazon affiliates and you can probably pick one of these up on Amazon. Just go ahead and use our link. Uh, we can earn from qualifying purchases. So thanks a lot for using that link. Uh, they give you a, just a general step-by-step, -step, four simple steps and hanging a mounting bracket, installing it, hooking up the electric and popping in those filters. And here are the tools that you need. A drill, a screwdriver, a saw, and a hammer. So pretty simple tool list. Let's go ahead and get this unpacked. There's a look at the insides once we pop the screens out. And that's from underneath, that's the fan. First thing we're gonna do is cut some supports for underneath the cabinet. All right, so we have these shims. They're gonna fit underneath this cabinet. They're gonna fit right there. And they'll provide a mounting surface for the hood as soon as we can go ahead and get that um, in. So we put our, our extra piece of wood, our shim, mounting board in there. Now the other one just takes two screws, one on either end. All right, so seven and three sixteenths inches from the center. We drill a hole for the electrical. Right here is the a vent, a vent piece that we probably won't need, but I think underneath here is, are our nuts and bolts. Yep, there's our package. These are our mounting screws. We're gonna go ahead and attach those to the shims we are already installed. Just above the fan here on the right side of the hood is where we'll make the electrical connections and they'll come right through that hole, all right there. All right, we left the four screw, the four screws just out a little bit so that the range, the range hood can come in here and rest on these and then we'll tighten them from underneath. Right now, they're, they're all protruding just a little bit so we can get the range hood on. All right, we'll go ahead and... Get this in. It's a pretty snug fit. You can see right there is where the screws are, where we had to screw the top into the that mounting stud that we had up there, that shim. And then we feed our electric down through the hole here. Note to self, always check your electrical connection. I was getting ready to cut that and I said, oh, I better check it, make sure it's not on. And it was on. So I gotta go turn that off. Is to connect that, the electrical, uh, the ground to the green and the black and the white to that setup right there.
All right, that power is dead. So we'll go ahead and cut the end off of it, wire it up. Okay, so we are doing black to black, white to white, and ground to the second green screw up there. And they didn't provide wire nuts, so that's something to be aware of. Once all that is wired up, we put the cover on. And that's it for wiring, so we'll go turn the power on and we should be good. All right, let's turn this on and see what we got here. Pop these filters in. And they're custom fit. Push the back in first and then the front's a friction fit. And if you need to pull them out, they have these white tabs on the front. There you go. The project can be a little more complicated if you vent it. Uh, we chose to do a non-ducted vent, so it basically recirculates this, and you have to buy certain filters uh, for, for underneath here, other than the ones they supply for, a, for it to be recirculated. If you're choosing to do ducting, your two options are either to go straight up into the attic, if that's uh, what's above you, and vent it out that way, vent it out the roof or out the soffit, or if this is the back of the house, to go directly out that wall and outside. Uh, those are all options that come with this particular uh, broad model. It, again, it gives you multiple options. This is the option we chose. We hope this video helps. If you have any questions, go ahead and drop us a line. We'll answer that just as soon as we can. If you haven't subscribed, please do. We've got a lot more videos coming. We want you to see them all. Thanks again for viewing, and we'll see you next time.